All right, 648, and it is time for Morning Rounds with Dr. Alex Harrison talking about heart health. Yes, hello, Eric. sir. Good morning. Good morning. So what do we have on the plate today? Uh, I thought we'd talk about uh, cardiac catheterization, uh, also called an angiogram or heart cath. Um, we've talked about it briefly in the past when we've talked about various people in having heart attacks, and uh, the treatment for a heart attack is uh, an angiogram to diagnose the problem and oftentimes opening up the blocked artery with a balloon and a stent. But uh, an angiogram or a cardiac catheterization is done um, far more frequently on an elective basis, both to, to diagnose problems with the arteries uh, as well as to look at the heart's pumping function, uh, measure the pressures within the heart and lungs, as <coughs> well as uh, look for any problems with the valves. Uh, we have a video playing here that uh, describes how the procedure is done. Uh, generally, it's the artery is accessed uh, most commonly from the groin, and a needle is inserted into the artery, and a thin plastic tube called a catheter is inserted over a wire. And uh, then the thin plastic tubes are run up the artery from the leg up to uh, the heart. That just seems crazy to me. <laughs> it but seems I know, like I know. such a far distance to travel. Yeah, but from a lay person's <laughs> perspective. <laughs> yeah, um, the catheters are over 100 centimeters in length and, and can reach um, fairly easily. Yeah. So uh, then, most commonly, uh, contrast is injected through the catheter into the arteries to diagnose uh, problems with the arteries if they are there, um, and fluoroscopy or real-time movie X-ray pictures are taken. Uh, then the catheters have the ability to transduce pressure readings, and so pressure readings in the aorta to determine blood pressure, as well as pressure readings from within the heart, uh, and then any discrepancy in pressure across a valve can help you diagnose uh, narrowed valves in the aorta uh, position, as well as uh, an injection of contrast within that ventricle can help determine pumping function of the ventricle and whether the valve um, uh, immediately before that, the mitral valve that brings blood from the upper chamber, the atrium to the ventricle, uh, leaks because then blood would and contrast would flow backwards and you would see that. You can access the vein instead of the artery and measure the pressures on the right side of the heart and in the lungs. And uh, So in an artery, the <coughs> blood goes to the heart, a vein it goes out or reversed? The vein takes the blood to the right side of the heart to then go to the ox to, the, to get oxygenated in the lungs. Okay. The arteries um, transport oxygenated blood uh, to the body and the okay. heart pump, the left side of the heart yeah, pumps it away. Yeah, I was trying to remember what we had been told in school. Wasn't there like a little video, fil a film strip actually, a film strip <laughs> that we watched? <laughs> I remember those overheads. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, blue blood towards the lungs and the, uh -huh. and the red blood away That's from right. Yes. to get to, <laughs> to, the, body. to the body. Right. Right. So this whole procedure is diagnostic. Right, and it can turn into a therapeutic procedure as well if a problem is, is seen during the time of the procedure, such as blockages in the arteries, oftentimes they are addressed with balloons and stents in the same setting if, if there is a problem with the artery. If it's done purely for a diagnostic purpose to measure pressures or to diagnose a problem with the valves, uh, then that's the conclusion of the procedure, and if, if the valve problem is severe and they require uh, repair or replacement of that valve that's done in a separate setting with a cardiovascular surgeon as we saw with um, when we talked about Barbara Walters and her need oh, for right. aortic uh -huh. valve replacement. So before she had the aortic valve replacement, she had a, an angiogram or a cardiac catheterization done to see whether she had any artery blockages and confirm if there was any question about how narrowed her valve was. I always thought, I don't know the name, cardiac catheterization, sounds like something's being done to the heart, you know, but really it's not. It's just It's being more of an studied. evaluation. Exactly. Evaluating. Okay. Right. And those are the different things that, yeah, as I you mentioned earlier, that right. can be Detect is this narrow uh, blocked arteries, measure the pressure, assess the heart function, and determine how best needs to be treatment, as well as, like I said, helping to diagnose uh, valve problems if it's not able to be diagnosed uh, through non-invasive means such as ultrasound or echocardiogram. And when you have this, is this something you bounce back from quickly? Do you feel bad afterwards? Yeah, it's a, it's a minor procedure. You're given some uh, sedation mm -hmm. through an IV, but it's not under general anesthesia. And uh, you're left with just a minor puncture site in the 
Uh, so you can go on about your business. Yeah, you generally have to lie flat for a few hours mm -hmm. to allow the puncture site and the artery to heal up to ensure that you don't have any bleeding problems. Uh, but uh, if no intervention is done, you're home the same day. All right. That's not bad. No, huh? it's it's not bad. Same day, in and out. All right. We will, uh, oh, by the way, uh, you can email morningrounds at kcoy.com if you would like to get a heart health question answered by mm -hmm. Dr. Harrison. It's that yes. simple. Free advice right here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, and uh, straight ahead we'll be, thank you, Doctor. My pleasure. Uh, we'll be taking a check of weather with Miss Lydia Pontasas. That's right.